Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about DBMS and ODBMS. To begin with, I will talk about database. Database is an organized, structured or collection of data, typically stored electronically in a computer system. It is designed to efficiently store, manage and retrieve large amount of data. For those who wants to learn more about what is database, I have included a link in the description below. Make sure to check it out. What is DBMS? DBMS stands for Database Management System. It is a set of software tools to manage a database. It serves as an interface between a database and its end users or a program, allowing the users to store, retrieve, update and manage a data. Data is stored as a files. Examples of DBMS are XML and Microsoft Access. DBMS performs several tasks. Some important tasks performed by DBMS are storage and retrieval. It provides a facility to store and retrieve the data from a database efficiently. Security. It ensures the data in database is secure and can only be accessed by authorized users. Backup and recovery. It provides a mechanism for backing up the data in the database and restoring it in case of data loss. Query optimization, transaction management and the user administration. It manages user access and privileges including user authentication and authorization. So, DBMS manages database and data is stored as a file. The example of DBMS are XML and Microsoft Access. What is RDBMS? RDBMS stands for Relational Database Management System. It is a type of database management system that is based on relational model of data. In RDBMS, data is stored in tables. Each table consisting of set of rows and the columns. The column represents the attributes of the data while the row represents individual records. Here we have a table students the columns, roll number, name, age, it represents the attribute of student and each row represents one individual instance of the student. In RDBMS, relations are fundamental building blocks and they allow you to store and manage complex set of data by organizing it into tables and establishing a relationship between them. Here, customer details are organized it into two tables, customers and customer address, and there is a relationship between them. One customer can have a multiple customer address. In a similar fashion, customer and orders are organized into two tables. One is the customer and another is the orders and there is a relationship between them one customer can have a multiple orders relationships in the rdbms allows us to perform powerful queries and analysis on the data with relationships we can combine the data from multiple tables into a single query result which provides a more comprehensive view of the data overall Relationships is a fundamental aspect of RDBMS, which we are going to cover in our upcoming video. Some popular examples of RDBMS includes Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle, PostgreSQL and MySQL. In conclusion, DBMS, it manages a database storage and retrieval. RDBMS it is a type of DBMS. It also manages data storage and retrieval. In DBMS, data is stored as a file. In RDBMS, data is stored in a tabular form. 
in dbms there is no relationship between data in rdbms as data is stored in a form of tables and each table links to another through a relationship data fetching is slow for the large amount of data in dbms data fetching is faster because of relational approach in rdbms the examples of dbms are xml microsoft access in for rdbms ms sql server mysql oracle postgresql and so on i hope this video gives you a clear understanding between dbms and rdbms don't forget to like and subscribe in our coming video we are going to talk about relationships in rdbms stay tuned thank you